fly. Go! Go! Go, Web, go! Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bombers lost. Um, not exactly surprised, not exactly disappointed. There's aspects of the game I'm disappointed about, uh, but let's get right into it. So first off, let's go into the pregame because we got a lot of stuff going into this game. And this is what I was calling for, and this is kind of what I expected. Uh, McGuire would be in, Caleros would not play this game. Uh, Bryant is out, Jeffcoat is out, uh, Grant is out. Uh, we would have Shaq Cooper go in, uh, replacing uh, Yuri and Grant. And um, you'll find out my thoughts on that later on. So first quarter, sadly, I missed the first quarter and a bit into the second quarter. Uh, this is because I had a lot of stuff going on this morning and I didn't quite get back in time for that. Uh, but the Bombers and Alouettes both got a touchdown apiece. Uh, and I believe the Bombers missed their convert and got a touchback later. Somebody can confirm that in the comments below. I believe that's how it went. Um, and so second quarter, starting when I got there, I noticed that the D-line looked pretty solid. Um, I wasn't, uh, I was pretty happy, uh, especially with uh, Kongbo uh, playing in uh, Jeff Coates' spot. I think he did a, he had an awesome game. Uh, I, he got, I believe, either two or three sacks tonight. Um, and then the Alouettes would get a touchdown reaction here. God damn it. Yeah, so touchdown for the Alouettes. The convert would be good. Uh, it would go back and forth a little bit. And then there would be a sack by Kongbo reaction here. Oh, there you go. Come on. Yes. Yeah, so at this point, I thought the O-line didn't look bad uh, in the second quarter. I thought they actually were pretty strong. Held the Alouettes to no sacks for the entirety of the game. And anyways, that would bring us into halftime. Uh, third quarter, uh, and especially fourth quarter, I'm gonna have a, I have a lot of things to say about this fourth quarter. So third quarter, uh, it would start, uh, start off pretty even, back and forth quite a bit. Um, and then we would almost, Shaq Cooper would almost fumble the, Montre uh, the Montreal punt. It would go through his legs. He would go back and get it though. Holy crap, close one, come on. You gotta hold on to the ball. You know, I expect better for this next play. All right. Uh, so it would be not the greatest drive for us. Uh, and then Trevor Harris would march down the field, uh, but they get stopped a little short. Montreal would get the field goal, make this a 17-7 game. And then there would be a sack by Walker reaction here. So second and six. Come on. Yes! Yes! There we go. And yeah, so another sack, like in the, like in the way that our D-line is playing tonight. Uh, and that would bring us into the fourth quarter. So the fourth quarter, historically this season, the Bombers have known to be so dominant, unbelievably dominant, that going into this game, we had not given up a single touchdown in the fourth quarter. Six points, two field goals, that's it. Nothing else. Over... We've gotten over 100 points in that fourth quarter, and we had given up less than 10. No touchdowns. So, first off, I noticed early in this first quarter, uh, fourth quarter, sorry, McGuire still hasn't figured it out. Still hasn't gotten in any sort of, you know, rhythm, and uh, it was a little bit concerning. And uh, I thought that uh, it, he... He didn't look the most comfortable in there. Obviously, it's his first CFL start tonight. He's pretty young, so I'm cutting him some slack. I'm not, I'm, trust me, I'm not, I'm not shitting on McGuire here. It's just, you know, he's got stuff to learn, and that's fine. Yeah, so then there would be some great D-line pressure. Uh, Montreal would punt again, and Shaq Cooper completely blunders it. And it's just, 
my my god like i was dis disappointed with that for sure and then montreal would pull off quite a trick play with a double pass and they would get huge yardage out of that reaction here Yep, so quite a play by the Alouettes, and then the Bombers would give up their very first touchdown in the fourth quarter this season. Reaction here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta get more. Uh, damn it. <sighs> yep, so Montreal would hit the convert. And then the Bombers would go on a drive where McGuire would finally look like he's getting into his rhythm. He would throw the touchdown pass for Darvin Adams. Reaction here. There we go. Who does he pass that to? Like he went back to, uh, uh, what's his name again? <laughs> Adams. Darvin Adams. There we go. Still 11 points behind, but... It's good to get some late quarter point, uh, late game points. Good. Yep. So touchdown. The convert would be good. Twenty four to fourteen. Looks like we finally got something, and that's when I wrote down McGuire is finding his rhythm. And then McGuire throws an air pick. Oh no! Oh my god! And not in this... Oh, this is bad field position to give something like that up. Oh. It looked like McGuire was finally getting into it. He's got, he's got to know when to just eat it sometimes. Yeah, I know. He's trying to force plays that aren't there. Yeah. God damn it. I, I, I almost wonder... I almost wonder if because he was starting to get into a groove, he really got a little... But look at that throw, though. There's three look, guys there. There was four guys. Is there four? One, two, two three, three. Oh, four. my... Jesus. Yep. Another pick. We then put some good D-line pressure, forced us a third down. The Alouettes would punt it again. And then I forgot that we had Shaq Cooper there. Shaq Cooper blunders it again. Again. And gives up more yardage. Like the, the thing is when the Montreal when Montreal recovered this, they had like fantastic yardage. Just just, just to hell with it. This is the third one he's fumbled! Good God! Just hold on to the ball! Jesus! Oh my goodness. So now we're going to need to go for a two-point convert because of this. Like if we get a touchdown, we're going to need a touchdown, a two-point convert, then a field goal. God damn it. All right, Shaq Cooper. I don't have a Mike Award for this. That's for our Jets videos. But uh, if I had to give one out tonight, it's definitely going to you. I'm sorry. That, like, Shaq Cooper had a bad game tonight. You know, he just, he never, he never showed any signs of control. Like, and you know what? I get it. It was raining out. I get it, you know. It, the ball was slippery. Trust me. I, 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 when I played football, I had to snap. You know, when this, when it was raining, snowing, whatever. But... That's no excuse. Montreal dealt with the exact same conditions we did, and they did not have anything. There was nothing like that. Quarterbacks had to deal with it the entire game. So, he's got to figure it out. And then, oh, can this get any worse? McGuire throws another pick. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, my God. It's not even a minute ago that McGuire threw a pick. Oh my god. Back to back picks. That's right. McGuire tonight would throw not one, not two, not three, 
but four picks. Four picks tonight. Ugh. You know what? I was so excited for McGuire hearing like the training camp, like hearing some of the stuff coming out of the training camp saying like, man, this McGuire's making some really good passes. And he's capable of it. We know it. We saw it when he got into a rhythm. It was exciting. But he's got to get consistent. And this is not me shitting on McGuire. This is me just saying what needs to happen going forward because there's a very real possibility we're losing Caleros at the end of the season. There's been a lot of talks about some NFL team trying to sign this guy. So, and the thing is, is that I don't think McGuire would be ready to take the reins. So, just young, he's got to learn. So, but we got to point out exactly, you know, where those screw-ups happen because, you know, just have to. So, Montreal would then go back on offense again because we gave it up. And they would get a field goal, making this game 28-14. to 14. Uh, And then McGuire would throw a pick, but he's out of bounds. So, uh, so you know, kind of got saved there. And then the very next play, McGuire threw a pick, you know, because the other one didn't count. So I guess we had to find one that did count, huh? So that would be his fourth pick of the game. And, uh, yeah, and then Alouettes would take control, and they'd take a knee, and they'd uh, run the clock out. So... What did I think of this game? I get it. It's a nothing game. I know it is. At least it is for the Bombers, you know. We're, 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 bent, we're sitting all our, our guys that we want to keep ready for the Western Final. And the only concern I have is that having that much time off can be a little bit of... Can be a bad thing, too. Now, the Bombers came out quite strong when they had their weeks off. This is obviously longer than that. Um, but it always, it makes me think of after the Jets swept the Oilers and then what happened when the, the Jets had all this time off and then obviously the series against the Canadians. So it's... I, I really want to see our secondary guys really do well. I thought Augustine and Oliveira had a good game. Augustine missed a few blocks. He had a few times where he was a lead block. Uh, uh, Specifically one for McGuire where he'd be the lead blocker for him. Uh, so he's got to get a little bit better of a grip on his blocks. Other than that, I thought he was fine. Um, and uh, yeah, I was very impressed with Congo. Um, or Combo, sorry. Uh, at the end, I thought he was great today. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole else lot to say about this game. Like I said, it is a nothing game, so... Is what it is. Not really too disappointed. Kind of expected it to happen. Uh, but yeah, Bombers got one game left this season. Play the Stampeders. I'm assuming we're, it's, uh, the lineup is going to be extremely similar. Uh, similar. Uh, I don't know if maybe he considers putting in Grant. Um, I think he might, considering Shaq Cooper's performance. Uh, but it is what it is. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, my uh, I do weekly reviews and previews of CFL action, as well as Zach does the Jets, uh, Jet Game Reactions and Goal or No Goes. So make sure you check those out, and I'll see you guys next time.